headache. Wow. Getting a pain from here. They're, they're saying that they can shuck for destroyers here. What is this place? So confused right now. Man, I got a headache though. Maybe a stogie hill. Still seeing it here somewhere. Where is he at? Oh, you're trespassing on my land. What are you doing on here? What I'm looking right for a wrestler goes by the name of Destroyer. I have not I have not seen him around here, but you are trespassing on this. I run the grounds. I run the grounds around here. Well I'm just trying to find out what I can and get on I have no information for you. Now go. Off my land. Well not trying to be a threat. I'll go. I need to find the story. He's dangerous. I've been lit here. Uh, the guy that lives here owned a promotion, a wrestling promotion. So maybe he had know something. So let's go find out.
What's your name? I'm Lawrence. Where the hell did you come from? I can't really go into that. What do you want? I'm looking for somebody. Who? He's a wrestler. His name is Destroyer. Who? He's dangerous, okay? Dangerous? Where's he at? I don't know. That's what I'm here for. I've been led here, and maybe you know something. Oh, I know. Because I uh, used to run a wrestling show? Exactly. And you think I know something about this wrestler? Well, I'm hoping. Alright, Lawrence. I got five minutes. Come in here. There's something weird about you. Man, you really should crazy up. I hate you. What are you people? What are you doing around the property? This is the headquarters. You ever heard of this place? No, not until now. It's a very popular and hidden place. It's the XPW headquarters. Oh, well, we're getting and more now it's just that. the headquarters because there is no. Come in here, we'll have we'll a meeting. We'll, we'll have that. a meeting. Yeah, we'll have a conversation. I want to know more about that. Get in here. Interesting place. This is the famous headquarters. I don't do much these days, though. All right, Lawrence. So, um, what did, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, well, first thing I want to talk about is this guy I'm looking for. His name's Destroyer. Um, he's a dangerous person. What did What did he do? Why is he so dangerous? Well, he's he's been charged with attempted murder. Wrestler attempted murder? Yeah, he's a crazy lunatic. And you came to me? Where, yeah. Where, where did you come from? Uh, you look confused when I saw you out there. Yeah. This ain't like normal walk looking from. around. Like, this ain't normal walk from. Where are you from? Um, from a different planet. Just say that. Different verse. Different like, multiple. Are you on drugs? No. You know, I've hung out with people in my past that have been on drugs. Recently, a girl, and she's a little crazy, and I've, I've uh, mm. went to great measures to help her out. I think you might be on drugs. No, I promise you, I'm not on drugs. Have you been hanging out in South Knoxville? Around the bad area of South Knoxville? Ooh. You said you were from a different planet. Yeah. You run a wrestling promotion. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Supreme Wrestling Association. 
Rastlin. Keep saying Rastlin, so I know you're from the south. Who is in this? Who's in your wrestling promotion? Because I've never heard of this. Well, I got a list here of wrestling. My show was yeah, called XPW and KWA, which is dead. There's a few other promotions. There's TPW. There's KFW. I've never heard what you're talking about. What? Who are these wrestlers? I got a list here to take. Okay. You like to be able to read them all? I'd like to know who's on this show. Oh. Well, there's a wrestler that goes by Razor. So. Razor Ramon? No, Rusty Razor. Did you name the, Did you name this guy? Who came up with this character name? Rusty Razor. I mean, who else is on the show? These are the names that they came up with. So. Oh. There's Mad Dog. Yeah, Billy. Mad Dog. Mad Dog? Yeah, Mad Dog. I used to have a wrestler named Bad Dog. Who else you got? Uh, Hip Billy. Which has to got it, uh, Destroyer on the Chai Kill, so. Destroyer tried to kill. Hip Billy. Hip Billy. Yeah. There's Damage. Scarecrow, the Pleasure. You know. No, I don't know. You no, know, you, you don't know, so. Who else? Strike, striker, um, the collector. You're giving this look like you're really confused. I'm very confused. I still think um, you're on drugs, but you know, everywhere I go, people think I'm a crazy person. You, you tell me you're from a different planet. I caught you lurking around my yard. Nothing's happened out there in two years. And there's a hatchet chat. Who? A hatchet chat. Hatchet. Okay. Tyler Jetski. Jetski. Yeah, like jet, jet ski. ski. Yeah, like a jet ski. Okay. And there's a thunderbolt. You gotta excuse me, my right ain't that great. Mine ain't either. Oh. Creepy stalker. Creepy stalker? Who, who's a creepy stalker? Let me see. Does that say dodgy? Dodgy mania? What did you do? What else do you do besides run a wrestling show? Well, I was a scientist for 10 years. You were a scientist, Lawrence. What's well, so hard to believe that? Okay. Your five minutes is up. You know, you should start believing people more. I don't know if I should send you back out of here and you go back down to South Knoxville and they might cart you off to jail. Oh, really? Are you on fentanyl? Are you I'm on... on nothing for the last time. You're not on drugs. No. You're telling me you're from a different universe or a different planet. And you run this wrestling show with all these weird names. I've never even heard of any of these people. You're stressing me out. Because I don't know if I should throw you out of here or if I should give you a place to stay for the night. The choice is yours. You're telling me a, a wrestler tried to kill somebody. Yeah, and you came to me about this. Well, maybe I'll, maybe it's the only you the only person I can come to, considering the fact that you're the person that used to own a wrestling promotion. So, am I kind of crazy for doing that? I did used to deal with some crazy people. None that attempted murder, but uh. All right, Lawrence, it's late. I can't have the fact that this person's a lunatic. It's late, Lawrence. So I, I got a spare room in the back if you'd like to stay here and. When you wake up in the morning, we'll talk you to gonna show me? I'll Take show you. I'll show you the room. This way. Right this way. This used to be my sister's room. Nobody stays in here, so maybe it's just a spare room. Oh, I didn't appreciate that. Alright, no problem.
I'll see you in the morning, and we'll talk more about this crazy stuff you've been... All right. All right. Good night, Lord. Good night. Good night. All right. Things are really weird. Are you still in here babbling on? Lawrence, I heard you. I was in there and I heard you. Are you having bad dreams? Yeah, is that a problem? What are you dreaming about? This destroyer guy, okay? You don't know him as well I do, okay? Who is destroyer? Like I said, all I can really tell you is he's a bad, bad person. He's a freaking lunatic. Killed a hillbilly, and you came to tell me about it. One more. I'm st I'm still a little I'm confused whether I made the right decision to let you stay here or not. I can't give you that answer. All right, just go back to sleep. Stop talking about this guy, Destroyer. Well, I'll try to. Hey, if you know what like I did, you would be doing the same thing, okay? But good night. Good night, Lord. People are crazy. Sleep less. It was pretty fucking rough, but I got through it. Any bad dreams? Any more bad dreams? Not too much to handle. Well, but I can't handle at least. You know? I said we talked today, so let's go out in my office. Alright, have some more questions. You. so dark. Oh, there's some cool lighting out here. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. We, uh, I told you last night, this is a wrestling headquarters. This yeah, is also, I remember you spoken of it. We also used to do XBW shows right here. Oh, that's the wrestling first. venue. The first XB, XBW shows was held here. That's intriguing. You ever seen them? No. Hmm. Anyway, we uh, the lighting would do this. And this person would walk down these steps. You know who that person was? No, I don't have a... Just, I have a clue. 
His name was Massacre the Evil Clown, and he was in the first XPW shows. Right. Now you're telling me there's a wrestler who's dangerous and he's on the loose. Yeah. Is it Massacre? No, he's not. Dude, Massacre, you're talking about. It's and not Massacre. It's ma uh, the dude named Instructable Destroyer. Destroyer? Yeah. Have a seat. Alrighty. The only clown wrestler that I ever worked with was Massacre. And he was a dangerous clown. Haven't seen him in a long time, though. Right. Now, I've lived in Seymour a very long time. And if there's a murderer on the loose, like, I, I, I'm glad you brought to my attention. Yeah. Why is this guy dangerous? Like, like what happened? Well, he's been charged with attempted murder. So, uh, like I was saying, but, uh... And he wrestled for you, like, wrestled yeah, on he, your show. He tried to attempt murder a wrestler. That was in a you wrestler said show. Hillbilly? Yeah. He, he tried to kill Hillbilly. Yeah. Did, did he hurt you? Why? Like, was it a bad guy? Who is this bad guy? This bad, like, is a destroyer. Is he? Yeah. He, in I, real life, is this guy. I like, mean, no, he wasn't a bad, bad guy person. the whole time. I mean, it's things that caused him to be this way. So he was always a bad no, guy. He was a really good guy. You know. So this this was a nice guy, and he just like went off the deep end. Yeah. And he worked on your wrestling show. What what did you do to him? Did you do something to this guy? I punched him in a wrestling match. Wait, a minute, you did what? Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, I fucked him over in a wrestling match. Oh, oh. Yeah. Whew, thought I heard something else. I was about to say, you're sexually harassing your employees. Same. <laughs> I, I misheard you. Or you I'm, mis sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe you misspoke. I don't know. Are you even paying attention to me? What, what, what are you doing? What is that? Oh, well, I'm on my track right now. And what are you getting a ping off of, off of here saying that he's getting cl he's close by, so I'm trying to Keep a good eye on it, you know? So there's an attempted murderer close by here at, yeah. at my residence. And that thing's telling that's a tracker? Yeah. You know, last time you met me a while back was, uh... It, last time you seen me, it was a watch on my wrist. But it broke, you know? Just checking. See what's going on out there. You know, there's been nobody here in two years. That's a long time for somebody. Why did you come to me about this? If there's a dangerous clown on the loose, you came to me? I figured if you, if anybody would have some info or some intel about the guy, you know. Because I used to you. be a fighter and a wrestler, and you came to me. Yeah, and you're on your own promotion now, as you can see. What you did at one point. Things didn't go so well for me the, the last couple of years when I was a competitor. There was a girl named Destiny. She was a MMA fighter. Right. I lost to her. And um, then there was a kid named Javen. I lost to him. And he burned the sign down. And I uh, kind of just, just been here for two years, isolated. So It hates you that bad? It was, uh, yeah, it's been a very lonely two years. Isolated here at the at the wrestling headquarters. I don't even know what's been going on out in the out in the real world, but I've been kind of keeping an eye on things. But just I'm concerned though that about this about this uh, murder on the loose. So yeah, uh, like I said, uh, I've been forced. I've been, I came here to be to because I've been forced to catch her and stuff. Oh well. We got some work to do. We got to find a clown then, don't we? Yeah. And you were speaking last night about you're from a different planet. Right. You don't know what Rick and Morty is. You don't know what XBW is. Yeah. Is there anything around where I'm from? What's interesting is recently I've been looking in and studying about um, parallel universes and uh, the, the multiverse. And you told me you're from a different planet. Yeah. With, with wrestlers I've never heard of and a wrestling promotion I've never heard of. 
you don't, you don't, well, somebody from your show is here in Seymour, and you're tracking them with that. You don't believe in an impossible? In an impossible? I don't know what I believe anymore, Lawrence. Let's go have some breakfast. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm going to grab a bite. Let's go. We'll discuss this more over some food. You're pretty good last night. Yeah, you bent that pretty good. I like it. Now, I'm a little worried because we got this guy on the loose, this destroyer. Yeah. So, any, anything else you can tell me about him? Because I'm going to have to go make some calls. All I know is that, uh, this dude, he'll be like, talk shit. Behind his back and shit, you know, and uh, other wrestlers try to fuck this girl, his wife. That happens in the wrestling business. Yeah, so you got some snake he was a good guy, and uh, other wrestlers try to get with his girlfriend. His wife. His wife, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Here you go. Fruit well, loop. thank you, thank you. Good. Twinkie. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you're like a bounty hunter now? Yeah, basically come collect them and stuff. Hmm. Want some help? Because well, I can tell you the hip all I can. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, let's just break it down here. Chet Hatchet. He's in Chicago. Yeah. Haji Mania. Retired from in-ring wrestling. He's not a fighter no more. Tyler Jett, my brother-in-law. He's, uh, they got a family. He's not competing no more. Um, Pat. Horror talk show host. He doesn't wrestle anymore. And then Lightning Bolt Carl Dunn has a Christian Bible wrestling show. So, so really everybody's busy or not really doing it these days. Huh? I just don't see these people in the best of their time. So I'm all you got. So. Well, I'm gonna tell you all the help I can get. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go like I said and make some calls. So. Enjoy your breakfast, Lord. Alright. I definitely would do that. Okay, let's see here. Something's just not right here. Mr. Wallace? Detective James, is that you? Yes. How can I help you? There's an individual I need some information on. Um, do you know a guy named Lawrence Carson? It does not sound familiar. Can you like look him up? I can look it up though. Yeah, look yeah. him look him up. He's a six foot two, stocky guy. Alright, give me one second. Thank you. No, not really. Find him the, there's no trace of this guy that you're saying he doesn't exist? Yeah, he does not exist. Is there like any other thing I can search him up by? If he owns anything, runs anything? I know very little about this guy. Hey, you, you still watch wrestling, don't you? Yeah. Have you ever heard of a wrestling promotion called the... Uh, Supreme Wrestling Association, SWA. Apparently, there's some crazy wrestlers that, that wrestle there. One's a attempted murderer or something. Did you say attempted murderer? Yeah. Can you, uh, do you know anything about this SW, the Southern Wrestling Association? No, there ain't nothing on Supreme Wrestling Association. Wow. All right. Thank you, Detective James. Something very odd about that guy.
The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics is a relatively new concept, but the general idea of parallel universes is much older. To some degree, the notion of an infinite multiverse was first hypothesized by ancient Greek atomists over two and a half millennia ago. These old-time philosophers believed our worlds to be the accidental result of completely random collisions between atoms in a vacuum. These random collisions then, in turn, they said, caused an infinite number of other worlds and universes, which led to the most primitive theory of a multiverse. These philosophies were still a long way from our contemporary view on how parallel universes should work, mostly because the scientific method hadn't been developed yet i.e. testing your claims mathematically and experimentally. An Arabic invention, it wouldn't arrive until the 11th century. Of course, the scientific method is now widely practiced. So unlike the Greeks of old, today we can actually test the legitimacy of any multiverse hypothesis. And before we get into the world of the very small, it's important to note that ideas on the multiverse aren't solely a product of quantum physics. Multiple universes are predicted in other fields too, such as in cosmology, where it's a contentious product of cotton. I am a real American, fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American, fight for what's right, fight for your life. Well, well, my goodness, it's been a while. We're a long time. I did not expect to get a visit from you. No, I've been looking for you. You know, last time I saw you, you speared me right out there at the XBW Battleground. Then I never saw you again. Oh, and then things just went all to hell after that. I had to fight some punk kid in a haunted house, and he burned our sign. But let me tell you something, though. I've been, I've been hanging out at Desert Hill, though, and I've been watching everything. I know what's been going on. Uh huh. So I know about your retirement. And congrats. Well, thank you. Now I've been, uh, I'll say I've been searching for you. I came here. Oh, it's like you disappeared. But since you've been watching. Well, there's. I got a visitor right now named Lawrence, and as I was telling Lawrence, the last year of XPW broke me, and I've just been isolated here at the headquarters. One thing. Who in the blue hell is Lawrence? <laughs> Lawrence is a strange individual. He's, uh. He claims he's from a different universe. Okay. Very weird. I haven't quite figured him out yet, but uh, I made a few calls and um, let's go out here in the office. Uh, office some, some familiar territory. Doesn't look the same, does it? In there? No, it don't. I mean, you used a few things in there. This is this is where you made your debut. Dang, 2006. Made my whole debut right here. Winning my first extreme title. Wow. Everything kind of changed. Yeah, we had many memories out here. That was many memories. And me and Crazy. You went to war out here. Yes, we did. When you speared me three years ago, I had it in the back of my mind. There's got to be another Chris Extreme Haji Mania match. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to 
actually in Hajimania with you, because you helped create the Hajimania. I just took it and ran with it. Unfortunately, when, when, when that sign was burning and I was laid there in defeat, like I was never seen again. I, I've been in isolation here at the, at the old headquarters, and I'm, I've just been a broken man. Now, me and you should go to war again, but I just don't know. And you've retired against, you had your retirement match. I did. And then, and then it got me thinking, you and Chad were going at it for 33 years. Me and you have been going at it for off and on for oh, many years. Many years, but. So, we should just bury the hatchet. No yeah. Point, no. Uh, no okay. pun intended there. No pun intended. I can't agree. I, can't agree. Just I think that we should issue. shake on this. Exactly. The Chris Extreme Haji Mania feud is over. Over. I'm glad to see you're doing okay. Glad, so, to, glad to see you're doing okay too. Uh, like I said, congrats on the retirement. I really appreciate that. But, uh, well, definitely know where you're at. Yep. I'll definitely... Check back in. I would enjoy more visits. And um, be careful out there. The guy Lawrence that's staying with me said there's a there's a clown on the loose, like a clown that's an attempted murderer. He, he's uh, I've been looking, trying to look more into this. So, hmm. just be careful when you go out there. Oh, definitely will. Definitely look out for this crazy clown. The destroyer is what the clown's name is. The destroyer. I questioned him. I thought he was talking about Massacre, the evil clown, but he assures me that it's his it's Destroyer, uh, a clown wrestler. I'm pretty sure he has to be talking about Massacre. I heard that dude was a real nut job anyway. Yeah. We go you way mean, back with Massacre. And then Massacre uh -huh. just disappeared, so. Yeah, he did. Mass smell, his mask smell funny, I'm going to tell you that. Ooh, <laughs> I remember dressing up like one time. Ooh. <laughs> dude never showed his face, so I don't know who. It could, I think it's Massacre. I think that's what he's talking about. I think whoever is born is, is, oh no. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the visit. I got to get here and check on Lawrence and check the grounds again. And Yep. I'll head back off. We'll visit any time, though. I feel like Over. there's a darkness that's like hovering around this place, it seems like, ever since this guy showed up. So. Well, I've always been told. When the darkness comes, there ain't going to be nowhere to hide. That's right. So, I will walk you up. So, uh, you've been here a couple of days now. You yeah. enjoying your stay here? I kind of not much to complain off of. You know, been, you woke me to be. You, you, yeah. you're, you're a pretty nice guy. Now that I've got to know you, um, let's yeah, find something to watch on TV. There's a movie. Meet the Fockers? What is, what is this? Man? Mm. Yeah, uh, you ever saw this, the show Friends? No. Reba? I don't know this stuff. What is this? You never heard of, you never heard of uh, Futurama? Uh -uh. I Carly. Futurama Bender becomes a father when he has a child with the office soda machine. Oh, that's kind of weird. So. What about ancient prophecy predicts the world will end in 3012 for an evacuation from Earth? Sound interesting? No, but I... King of the Hill, you like that? I don't know if this is a. What do you watch on your. You're from a different planet. What do you watch? Porn. <laughs> wow. What kind of porn? Anime porn. Anime porn? Yeah. Wow. There's like a mall, a West Ham mall, and like they sell that stuff on like DVD. You should go there and buy you some. That's like all you watch anime porn, lesbians, lesbian porn, three way yeah. porn. Yeah, sometimes. You just watch a lot of porn. This thing's interesting to me. <laughs> wow. Well, there's nothing on TV. Sharknado. 
I don't know if we need to Yes. Let's just watch this for right. Oh, I know. You need more updates on your phone? No. No, oh, that's not a phone, is it? It's a tracker. Tracker? Yeah. It's like updating you on the clown. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we would have heard something on the news. Like, we watched the news earlier, and yeah. I think we would have heard if there was a killer on the loose. So. I don't know. He's a dangerous person, you know. Maybe he's just that good at sneaking around, you know. Well, I've, I've checked the ground out there. Didn't see him, so. Well, that's good news. Sleeping. Your mother found me.